is that malevolent entity, spirit or thing, is that here with us tonight? If it is, are you able to point both rods to my right? Deep in the heart of north central New South Wales lays a forest spanning over 5,000 kilometres. This dense bushland is known for its scenic tracks, wildlife, and most of all, its terrors, which are rumoured to lurk within. To begin the story of the Pilliga Scrub, I must take you all back to the native Aboriginal people who roamed this land long before we did. The natives tell of stories, stories of evil entities, which are rumoured to lurk within this dense forest. Believe what you will about the legends, although those very stories were enough to keep clear the native Aboriginal people from the Pilica scrub who refused to enter, instead travelling around the scrub entirely. Fast forward many years and the stories of the Pilica scrub seem to multiply. Campers reporting on strange happenings, truck drivers reporting on unusual sights, and locals heeding the warnings from the natives and steering clear those who wish to venture in. As I mentioned, the Pilica is rumoured to be inhabited by an evil presence. Over the years, there are two stories in particular which lend credence to this. The first is the Pilica Princess. In 1993, Claire Whipson, a homeless Aboriginal woman, was struck by a truck driver in the late hours of the night. Unfortunately, she did not survive the accident. What is unsettling though is the official report and stories that follow after her death. Claire Whipson was a known homeless woman who lived around the Pilliga Scrub. She was known to walk up and down the Newell Highway, pushing a shopping trolley with her belongings. She would often try to hitch rides with truck drivers who passed by and, over the many years, granted herself the nickname, the Pilliga Princess. As mentioned, in 1993, she was struck down by a truck driver crossing through the highway. The report states that Claire Whipson turned towards the truck, arms outstretched in a hugging gesture, and ran towards the truck. Other truck drivers over the years after her death have made reports of seeing a similar looking lady wandering up and down the highway through the day and night. She was also believed to be one of the only Aboriginals who would freely enter the Pilliga scrub. Could she have known the secrets of what haunts the forest? The second story, which seems far-fetched, is that of Australian urban legend Legend, the Yowie. The Yowie, similar to the Sasquatch or Bakwas, depending on where you live in the world, is believed to be a large humanoid looking creature. We are not too sure where the stories originated from, although the Pilliga scrub has gained a reputation amongst Yowie hunters, and the reports flow into the dozens. All speak of a large creature which lurks in the woods and feeds on unsuspecting campers or those who travel into the scrub. As we mentioned, the stories of Yowie seems far-fetched, but could they have also been the evil that the native Aboriginal spoke of? With all these stories, we decided to head out to the Pilliga and stay overnight, attempting to deduce if the stories are true. We are ETFW. Follow us as we explore Pilliga Scrub. Welcome back everybody <laughs> to part three of the Pilliga series. That's right, welcome to our campsite. We've had a really fun time kind of coming out and camping. It's something we don't get to do a whole lot of. So it's been kind of fun getting away from the city a bit and kind of out into the woods. Away from work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we've definitely had a good time, even though we are kind of packing a little bit. But with that said, we're going to jump into this episode. We forgot though. What? Susan. Ah, uh, dude, Su you, you know Susan who I'm talking about. I know Susan, man. She hasn't subbed yet. The I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm speechless. I just don't know what to say. Usually I've got something to say, but I'm speechless. Just, we're just broken records at the moment. Susan. You know what to do. We say no more. <laughs> we say no more. You know what to do, Susan. Well, that's it, guys. Let's jump into the episode. Let's try a bit of an investigation here. As you guys saw in the last episode, we spoke to a spirit named Nathan. Seemed to have told us about the spirit of the Yowie, I guess you'd say, that inhabits this land. It's a crystal clear night above us. Yeah, so many stars out. It's beautiful. Let's just take an easy one. Let's see what we get. We're going to try Necrophonic out. Again, it's a great app. Gives us a lot of good responses. And maybe we've got the Ouija board set up, but we'll see. It hasn't worked for us yet. I mean, we've tried it so many times, it hasn't worked, but... We said we wanted to try and give a go of everything while we're here. So, we're in the middle of a haunted forest, so I mean, if it's going to work, and maybe it's going to work here. That's right, leave no metaphorical stone unturned. Yeah. With that said, guys, let's jump into the episode. You know when you're at Scouts? It's like the creepy... It's like the creepy ghost stories around the bushfire but like times 10 when necrophonic's going necrophonic around the bushfire like fire. if you imagine if the scout leader goes right boys tonight we're doing necrophonic <laughs> like we're gonna conjure some deep some I'll demons quitting. i'll be getting out of there jeez all right man. let's start i mean look 
I mean, we're kind of laughing, but we are still in the middle of the woods. It's, it's nervous laughing, I think. Are there any spirits here with us right now? Yes. That was f***ing clear, man. You a male spirit? Or are you a female spirit? Evil. Is there multiple spirits here with us right now? Child? Yes. To the spirits that we're communicating to, is there an evil entity here in this woods, this forest? Necrophonic creeps the f out of me. You're able to give us a you're able to give us a yes or no answer. Are we perhaps communicating with the spirit we spoke to before? Is this Nathan? No. Are you able to say one of our names? Not anymore. Are you able to speak one of our names? The thing I will say about Necrophonic is, I'm not going to diss the app, it's an awesome app. I reckon if if you want to get the ambience going, it's great. Yeah, it's a good but thing to like kind of get you in the mood. Sometimes what I find is it's like too active. Yeah, it's too much. Like, do you find like there's sometimes too much coming through it? It's difficult to follow. I mean, like you ask questions and it gives like multiple responses and it's kind of... Yeah, you kind of lose what it just said. Yeah, it's hard to kind of track with what it's saying. I just watched your eyes and where they weren't. You're gonna suggest. I reckon, yeah, well, I mean, we've got it set up. I mean, we've got the Ouija board set up, why not? Like we said, look, it hasn't worked for us yet. Maybe it's not gonna work, you know? Like we said, like, we said before we came here, we'll that just we're gonna try. leave. We'll just no try everything. Unturned. We're gonna try everything, everything in our arsenal that we have. So, I reckon we just do it. Give it a go to the old Ouija board. Well, Actually, I kind of hope it doesn't work. <laughs> Well, of all the places for it to work, I don't want it to work here. We still got to sleep here tonight, guys. <laughs> it's so it's just the two of us. And right. I know for a fact if something happens, you're, you'll leave me behind. I've got the keys. Okay, he's got the keys. All right, guys, we're going to set the Ouija board up. We're going to move the camera over so you guys can see what's going on. We're also going to run a GoPro for this because you guys aren't going to be able to see much from this main camera. So we'll run that from my hat so you guys have a bit of a first person view. Exactly. So we'll set that up, guys, and we'll jump back into it in a second. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's do it. One, two. Holy mother of God, that scared me. Three. If there's any spirits here with us tonight, we invite you to communicate. Be able to move the planchette for us. Move it anywhere on the board. Again, if there are any spirits here with us tonight and you'd like to communicate are you able to move the planchette for us are you doing it no I swear to god you're not moving it no I swear to god you're not f moving it. swear to god My heart is racing, dude. My heart is racing. I'm trying not to move my head. To the spirit that we're communicating to. Are you Nathan? The spirit that we, that we were communicating with earlier? You're not moving it yet. No, that's not me.
I've got I've got tears forming in my eyes. I'm freaking out, dude. Th this is this is like never worked like this. No. The the only time, guys, this has worked for us is Pleasant Creek, and even then, that was like we never we never got anything like this. I don't know. On a fucking side note, dude, like this is real. Shit. Like I don't know if you really want. Like, do you want to do it? Not really, but. I don't know, it sounds like a white girl thing to say, but f like, well, well, I don't know, man. Just keep going. It's never worked for us before. I don't want to do like Morissette where we like freaked out. We know, dude, maybe this, maybe this we is, actually contact this something. This is a seven and a half hour drive, man. I don't like, want to Like maybe we actually con like. So the spirit that we're communicating with. Dude, I, I'm like freaking out to even ask the question. To the spirit that we're communicating with, are you friendly? Is it still here? I'm, I'm hoping it's not here anymore because it hasn't moved. Are you still with us right now? Holy shit, dude. It feels like it's pulling from like right next to my left finger. You asked if it wasn't friendly and it didn't move. Does that mean it's, it's a no? Yeah, I think so. It didn't move off no. Are you a friendly spirit? Oh my god, dude. That's quick. Trying, I'm trying like not to move my arms, man. I've got them resting on my uh, uh, knees. Dude, I'm actually packing. Shit. I don't know what the. F <sighs> I mean, f it, let's just ask. There's something that believes to haunt this place, dark or an evil spirit entity or a creature, it goes by the name of a Yowie, but again, it's never been confirmed. The spirit we spoke to earlier said that. The stories are true. Are you the spirit or the entity that the spirit before told us about? What Nathan told us about? I need to like lift my arms a bit to reach, man. I am freaking the f dude. Does it mean us, huh? I don't even want to ask it. Yeah, it's true. It's kind of a loaded question. Was that F? F. Tell me you're not moving it. Like, I'm not moving. I swear to God, I'm not moving it. A. That was your tent. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Ah. Uh, what the f was the P? F A P R. No, it said F E A P R. Do you think it meant to go to the P? Fear? It's F E A. F E A. P R. 
I think the P was a mistake. There's no, there, there has to be fear. Are you saying to fear you? Go to goodbye quickly. Goodbye. Like on a side note, I just want to be real, like off camera, like if this is saying to fear, you know the number one thing they say is like, don't give into the fear. But you can't give into the fear. No. Like guys, we've never had it work like this before. Like no joke, like, like I, I don't know, man. Like, like, like it felt, honestly, it felt like it was being moved from yeah. like right next to my finger. You know what it, it felt, felt like, like almost was... like magnetic. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not... I don't know. I, I reckon pack. I reckon put this away, dude. Don't put this in with it. No, no, no. Put that away from it. Put it upside down. Man. I don't want to see it. Oh, yeah. put, put that like in the car or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's never ever worked for us before. No. Like if you guys could honestly feel my heart is fucking beating right now. Like the fact that we have to sleep here now after that happened. I don't, I'm not sleeping. this way like from here to those footsteps man yo didn't sound far away either. yo Dude, I really don't know, man. I'm actually like... I reckon, bro, honestly, let's fucking cleanse the shit out of this place, man. Sage? Yeah, I can just I can't chuck focus the sage straight in the fire, man. I honestly reckon chuck the sage straight in the fire and just... Let's use the whole thing now. Because I'm fucking packing, man. Alright, guys. I don't know. I don't even know if that picked it up on camera, to be honest. Guys, not not gonna lie, like, this is pretty creepy. Wait, we're definitely gonna stick it out. I'm not gonna Something f***ing... just stepped on my grave. You know the shake that yeah. you get? Uh, I don't know, man. We we definitely stick it out tonight, but yeah, this is creepy. Well, we can't really leave because A, we don't have reception. Yeah. And I'm, we're not... This whole, this whole place is, like, on a grid... Like, it's like yeah. a grid, yeah, the I whole forest, there's no driving. way that we're going to, we're not going to, yeah. we could end up uh, deeper. I reckon we, we just, we, we I, I reckon, yeah, down. I reckon we sage, I reckon we try to get some sleep if we can and just play the night out, see what happens, wait till morning, wait till the sun gets, comes up at least and then look at getting out of here. Alright guys, I don't know, that honestly just kind of put me in a creepy mood, man. Dude. It put me in a weird mood as well, like I don't even know how honestly, to take that. I want to put the Ouija board back in the car, just as far away from us as possible. All right, guys. I think we're gonna call it there. We're gonna we're gonna attempt to get some sleep, and I guess we'll pick it back up in the morning once we're up. And if anything else happens throughout the night, we'll kind of fill you guys in. But I don't even know how to take that. I mean, I'm not sleeping. It's just I'm weird. Like, I don't know how to, it just makes me feel weird. But I don't know. I just want to stop talking about it to be honest, because it keeps creeping me out. Yeah. Let's just let's just get the fire going and get the sage in. Yeah. Hi, right, guys. We'll pick it back up in the morning. We'll let you know if anything else happens. But yeah, we're gonna try to. Well, hopefully we'll pick it up. Uh, some, some I get some sleep. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Oh my lord, I'm out of focus. I'm still out of focus, man. Somebody get me in focus. <sighs> Alrighty guys, I'm still out of focus a little bit. Maybe it's the best we're gonna have to do. But yeah guys, it's like 5.30 in the morning. We made it, as you guys can see, my tent. I mean, people are gonna be probably watching this being like, you mother 
the glamping. I mean, I mean, do we got a four person tent each? Six person. Yeah, we do. But did we just do overnight the pillager? Well, I think that deserves a six person tent. Uh, but seriously, guys, I'm going to show you outside a little bit. Sun is coming up very soon, as you guys can see. Last night was pretty uneventful. Yeah, we both didn't get much sleep, to be honest. Maybe a few hours each, if that. There was like a bit of a weird thunderstorm going on. There was a bunch of flashes outside, like a bunch of flashes but you couldn't hear any of the thunder or you didn't hear like any of the noise it was just the flashing <sighs> i don't know maybe it was the mid mid lights but we were both kind of packing shit to get out of the tent and have a look to be honest so we we're like F the mid mid <laughs> like the mid mid lights we stayed alive so we um we pretty much just bunkered down in the tents i think that the creepy part about it was was just knowing where we're sleeping you know, that we were sleeping in, you know, the Pillager Scrub, a place where people say avoid, don't camp there. It's it's scary, it's haunted, it's, you know, evil, demonic spirits. And I don't know, it, just knowing, like, the history and the story of this place is what kind of creeped it out the most. But, yeah, to be honest, like, in terms of the actual sleep and everything, it wasn't knowing, like, the history here definitely adds a bit of fear factor. Yeah, Brandon's got the Ouija board in his tent. <laughs> Uh, I, I got all the, I got all the stacks and food, you know? I got all the stacks and food. Brendan got the Ouija board, that mother <laughs> But yeah, like I said, guys, sun's pretty much coming out any moment. It's a little bit overcast this morning, but this is Tim Bailey, your daily weatherman, and <laughs> we're pretty much going to pack up camp soon and start making the way back to Sydney. Like I said, it's about a seven and a half hour drive with stops and you know get some lunch and stuff on the way so it's a bit of a drive back all right i'll see you guys once we pack up camp